so we're going to have a look at our supine hip crossovers, level one. This is a great exercise for just helping to kind of loosen things up around the low back and core, um, bringing in a little bit of trunk rotation, and um, often is something that we might do if we're looking for a little bit of pain relief, or just to kind of introduce this movement at a low load, okay? So what we want to do, get onto our back, and um, we can put the arms straight out to the side and just try to settle those shoulder blades down towards the ground. We'd like to bring in a little bit of posterior pelvic tilt and also kind of like squishing the ribs down. So try to get the back flat along the ground and feel that pressing solidly into the ground. From there, we're going to keep the feet on the ground and we're just going to allow the knees to drop to one side. Uh, moving within a range that's comfortable. And so if you feel that you have access to more range that's comfortable, you can go a little bit deeper. But continue to try to maintain some of that connection with the ground in your base, uh, where your trunk is, and maintain both shoulders in contact with the ground throughout this movement. Okay, so feet stay supported on the ground the whole time, and we're maintaining some of that effort to kind of keep the low back and uh, uh, lower rib cage pressed into the ground um, as we continue to turn. Okay, so that's our supine hip crossovers, and I hope it helps.